Hello everyone and welcome by the Orchid Saga and I thought that this, uh, it would be time to do a uh, blooming update and um, for uh, the month of July, August because I did forget putting up for one for uh, July but um, we started with a new one this is the uh, Peter Kamp and uh, let me go this side the shelf, the first one that just opened up uh, today it's not a big bloom yet, I think it will be a bit bigger but the plant was struggling quite a lot so therefore it's a, it's a nice bloom but normally they can get a bit bigger then next to it we still have this one in bloom and this video might be getting quite a bit, uh, quite long because we have quite some uh, orchids blooming but I thought yeah I'm just gonna take a time and uh, enjoy the beautiful bloom so I hope you enjoy them as well and this is the uh, Ringonia ostiari alba beautiful plant with uh, beautiful blooms not that big but I li really enjoy the colors of this one it's a creamy green with some uh, lilac lip beautiful at least if you ask me we have, uh, as you can see, quite some spikes on this one and some uh, buds to open still, so that's beautiful. Then this one, this one is darkening up, so we'll probably had his last a long, longest time here. This is the uh, Festiva Miltonia Festiva, and but it's still a beautiful bloom, and I think it was on Todd's Tropicals that he mentioned are one very similar Miltonia that they sometimes have a habit to cluster the blooms and I thought it was a light issue but it can be that it's just uh, that is, this is just a habit of the plant itself then we have the Morliana and this is a variety um, Spectabilis Morliana, Morliana Royalty beautiful still here we are by the uh, did see this one but the blooms are still beautiful then we go up to this brushia type let me grab that leaf I really like that yellow there and the blooms beautiful spider ones then we have my um, Bartley Schwartz white the white variety here we are <laughs> also beautiful blooms First uh, rebloom for me, but I really enjoy uh, the colors and the shape of this one. And we have another spike coming here, so we can enjoy uh, the blooms quite, quite for quite long. And this one is also still in bloom. I think it's the summer breeze, Miltonia summer breeze, but I'm not sure. It's officially no idea, but the blooms do look very similar. But quite a lot of blooms. Let me uh, try to get this in uh, in frame completely. You can see a lot of spikes with a lot of blooms. Beautiful. And next to it is my other Morellana. I have two of them, but uh, they come from the same plant. Then over here we have still this one in bloom. Let me. Uh, Go back a little bit, you can see it's quite a fairly big plant with a lot of beautiful purple blooms, spidery blooms, but a beautiful uh, purple color. And if I don't forget, I will uh, do the names as pop ups because I it's hardly uh, I can hardly read the tag. So uh, then we have this one, this is one of my favorites as well. Yeah, basically, all of my favorites, but I really, really love the colors. Also a brushia type, one of my biggest orchids. We have a flower spike over there. We have one hanging here, uh, in a few in the back, and we have one that is going over now. And we have still some to open there, so that's uh, something to look forward to. My Miltonia sunset, the first one that I uh, have, the spotted one is still in bloom, but it's now, as you can see start to fade so, and we have some uh, already dried up uh, flower spike here so that one is going over now as well and then we have a lot of blooms on my Ragnelii 
never had so many spikes on one arcade. This one has 18 spikes. And you can see they go all the way around the plant. It's a beautiful display. Sadly, I don't have more room for this one. And we are currently uh, rebuilding uh, the kitchen and our house and doing a lot of stuff. So I don't have to uh, have the room to put it in a house. But otherwise, I would put it on a table, I think. It's so beautiful. Beautiful blooms. So yeah, but I can really enjoy it here. So that's okay as well. Then this is a first time bloomer for me as well. This is the... Oh, let me grab the tag. This one I can reach. Odonto brush, Brushia Billabong Semi Alba. Beautiful. Whoops, there we are. Blooms as well, very light, quite kind of light, not, not uh, very light, but uh, yeah, beautiful blooms. Okay, let me see. Then, before this one is going over, I did forget to mention it, I think, in my last one. One bloom is already f fallen off. This is the, I think it's the Buckleberry. Where are you? No, not Buckleberry. I always. Buckley, Linda Buckley, Selagini, Linda Buckley. Beautiful blooms. I really, really like that orange there. And almost white flowers. Beautiful. Okay, I'm going to turn slowly. I don't want to make you sick, seasick. And then we have my Sotoanum. It's starting to bloom. This one is fully opened. Beautiful blooms, nice and fragrant, but we have still some to come here and there. And yeah, after probably three years, we have a spike here. I now have it finally blooming as it should. Last year, it brought me a little spike because I messed up the root system, didn't watch my pH as much as I do now. So, uh, but yeah, beautiful, beautiful blooms. Then we have this one. I really, really like this one as well. And I have to speak again. I keep forgetting the names. Varicosum, yes. Varicosum Belden Black. And beautiful spike. First rebloom for me. Next to it is the uh, Harlequin, the Dancing Lady. And then here we have one of the siblings of the Sotoanum, a um, twinkle. This is beautiful. Uh, it's a beautiful spike here. Next to it, we this one is already going over, but this one is in bloom as well, with two spikes. And we have a branch here that still needs to open, but the first of uh, the blooms are already uh, going over. And my yellow one, this is the biggest one, is uh, also working on some spikes, but no blooms yet. Then above that we have also a very beautiful, kind of big, with the spikes on the plant there. It's the Katharina Sock. And this one is very fragrant. This one really fills up uh, the greenhouse. So it's a very strong fragrance. If you don't like that, this plant's... It's not for you, but uh, I really enjoy it. It's fairly strong, I must admit. But I, uh, like I said, I really like it. And a beautiful display at the moment. Next to it, we have still a Vanilliopsis dendrobium esmeralda in bloom. One spike is now going well, but it's this one. Beneath that, we have the snow jade. Beautiful colors as well. First, are uh, going over already but this one blooms for a f quite a nice time and I noticed that the blooms are bigger than before and then we have I believe this is the pink splash very strong colors as you can see very vibrant colors also the blooms are a bit bigger than before it has another spike coming here and another one coming there and these are already two spikes. So this one really likes to bloom and it blooms for the longest time for my 
and then Drobium phalaenopsis. This one is really, really is here for quite a long time. And then we're going over here. This one is also still in bloom. Beautiful yellow and white uh, blooms. My favorite combination. As you may have noticed, if you saw my one of my last videos where I did an unboxing with a beautiful Phenoliopsis with also yellow and white, I really, really like the combination. So that was one of the reasons that I wanted to have a, uh, to buy this one for my collection. And this one is I have to check the tag. Androbium Puff 58 Yellow Fragrance. Let me check the fragrance. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit at the moment. Maybe uh, perhaps it needs a little bit more light. I didn't check it uh, with more light, so I'm not completely sure. Polar Fire, still in bloom. This one is blooming for a very long time as well. So probably they are uh, very close now. The Polar Fire and the uh, Pink uh, Splash with uh, the blooming time. But I noticed this one is, uh, when it's happy, it's really for a really long time and I think it's about uh, well, at least five six weeks I think maybe even longer I didn't take notes from the blooming time then we have a first time bloomer it's a uh, come on focus cherry baby uh, type this is a red doll cherry baby red doll and I wanted a uh, red one Cherry baby with kind of red blooms. This uh, is very uh, red. I'm sorry, <laughs> with some uh, purple on the lip. Also, the pretty much the same fragrance as my uh, cherry baby over there. Strong. It's, uh, the plant itself is a bit smaller, but it has one uh, beautiful spike, as you can see. And it's the first time. It's a very uh, young plant, but still, it's uh, beautiful. Let me see. Did I miss something here? No, I didn't. Then I hope you can see this. I think you can see a few. Yeah, this one is amazing how long this one is. It's really crazy. This one, that longest one, should be a uh, pink one with very large blooms. Never had it to rebloom, but soon I will, I think. But yeah, I have quite a lot of uh, spikes coming. Still some beautiful blooms. This is this Sogo Medi Sogo. Let me turn off the fan. But, um, yeah. You can see that? Spikes. Spikes. Beautiful. Not all of them, but quite some. And I have some with double spikes. It's the first time. That one has two spikes, but it's coming from the same place with in between the leaves. Normally they only get one, but this one decided to put out two spikes on the same side. But um, yeah, I'm just gonna let it. And this one is also very, very big. Beautiful. Oh yeah, it's, it's a blooming update. I'm sorry. This one is a first rebuild. I'm sorry. Let me get it out of the way. I hope you can see it. It's very high up in the sky. It's a nice uh, mottled, mottled one. I'm sorry. Oh, wait, maybe I can do it. Yeah, I think you have a fairly ID now. I have no name for these guys, no IDs, as is this one. It's a beautiful pink one with orange, with an orange lip. And we have one here, no idea. We have one here, no idea. We have one here, with an idea. <laughs> This one is still here, it's, um, but I have to check Karen something. Karen uh, oh, uh, Aloha. Karen Aloha. Beautiful one. Whoops, there goes the tag. I'm sorry. You can see that, but that tag was dropping. Yeah, beautiful. Strong blooms. And in the back, you can see another spike coin. This is a keiki. I had no idea, but it's a white one. Most of the times they are white. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it. I, I do like them, don't get me wrong, but I already have a, a actually two white ones. So yeah, I actually didn't need more white fells, but anyhow. Uh, Leo Doro. 
I'm working on some bots. Bellina. Beautiful blooms. Then we go down. And we have here. This one is just opened up. Well, actually, it's just finished this one. And then it uh, already had this spike going on. And it's decided to open this one up. Beautiful, beautiful blooms. And I believe this is the Phenoliopsis Thai Taishing Smart. I'm not completely sure, but I saw it on the Miss Arcade Girl. And she had found an idea, and I think I have the same one. But once again, I'm not completely uh, sure. Maya, I have an idea on this one. I think it's a commercial name, actually, to be honest. But this one, this modeled one, beautiful uh, blooms, is called Maya. And did you see it already? We have beautiful buds on my... Dendrobium chrysanthemum, I think it's called chrysanthemum. Working on a new growth there as well, but this one uh, will be in our uh, blooming update fairly soon. And I almost forget, but I have a beautiful uh, dark pink one as well. And you can see I have aphids going on. So yeah, it's a bit sad. I have a caloric one, as you may know already. I not into Polaric that much, but yeah, this one is uh, kind of nice, so I probably may keep this one. Then we have the Golden Peacock. You did see that on a Care Collab very recently. Um, these are not my own, my own blooms, so to speak, but this is the uh, new one in my collection. Like I mentioned earlier on, this is a beautiful yellow with white. So that's beautiful. Uh, oh yeah, we have something new here. Look at that. This is one of my first Catleyas ever. I no idea, but uh, it's beautiful, uh, nice Catleya. It starts a bit creamy, but then it goes to uh, a bit white, wider leaves quite quickly. This one is open for probably three days now. Beautiful pinks, dots and spots on there. So that's beautiful. Then this is my Cymbidium. Still not sure, but if that is a spike or not. I did post it, but not everyone is was very sure about that. And then we should have another one. But these felt uh, kind of hollow when I started. So I'm pretty sure that it should be spike. Uh, yeah, spikes. But I never had a Cymbidium reblooming actually i don't have sabidiums well I, I now have one obviously but uh psychopsis alba so that's pretty much for in the greenhouse so let's go uh, have a visit in the orchid room and i will turn off the fan because it makes quite some noise and here we go i don't hope i don't want to make you dizzy but <laughs> Uh, some Miltoniopsis are still uh, blooming and re-blooming. This one is that's not a very old spike. This one is a bit older. And this one started opening up some fresh ones again. Diana and uh, Princess Diana. And these are now going over. There's also quite a lot of uh, new growth. So this is very uh, getting quite um, quite big actually as a plant. So that's, uh, that's nice, we have a few here, most of them are now dropping of these guys, as is for that one. Then we have this no idea here, that's also a beautiful one. I really like the shapes of the blooms. And it has some yellow leaves, I think that those are all the leaves, but probably I should cut the tips of those leaves. I'm not completely sure, but it starts to making quite a lot of blooms and buds. I never had so many blooms on it. So I hope that's a good sign. <laughs> then we have this one. One of my favorite colors, this rusty orange. Beautiful, beautiful. I like the, really like the shapes. Um, if I don't forget, I will do a pop-up. 
because it's a little bit hard for me to reach the tag. And we have another three blooms on these uh, the Psycho Cross Golden Bay. Beautiful one. This one has uh, bloomed quite a lot this year for me. Um, let me see. Do we have some fresh blooms? No. I yeah, this is so sad. Um, I'm not completely sure, but it kind of looks like a red ruby. Someone helped for the ID. We thought it might look... But can you, see, you can see already see, I think... I think I broke it, but I didn't notice it when, I, when it happened. But it just opened up and it's now losing its blooms already. I don't think it's because of the weight, it's kind of heavy, but I think normally they just bend over and that it's, they don't do break, they do not break that, that quickly, but sad, very sad. And then we have, uh, I did forget the name of this one. I bought it as a tiger tail, something tiger tail, but I'm not completely sure. This one is still in bloom, beautiful spike. I really like the colors on this one. Beautiful one. And then I keep forgetting them, but I have my jewels. As you can see, they already had some blooms. But my jewel orchids in bloom. This is the Alba version of some kind, I think. They are starting to come back. I didn't, uh, I have quite some new new growths here, which makes me happy because I had them in the greenhouse, but they didn't not really enjoy it, yeah. But they start to bloom. This one is uh, is my biggest jewel orchid. And we have some buds to come, also some new growths. And we have a bud here and there, yeah. This one is really uh, putting out some bloom spikes. They were nice, nice blooms, but not very spectacular. But uh, yeah, uh, they are nice. <laughs> I really like the other ones a bit better blooming wise, but I like the leaves. But uh, but I yeah, I'm not really a big fan of the jewel orchids. I like them, but that's it. I could live without them. <laughs> and this these are uh, is an orchid that I just uh, recently purchased. So that's those are not really my blooms. Let me turn. Oh yeah, I did forget one. This one. It's a very young orchid, probably the first time it blooms. Let me grab the tag. This is the Odontia Fiona Eisler. I did get this one from... No, I thought it was Belgium, but it's not, not true. I, I can't remember. But a beautiful one. And yeah, that's it. We have still uh, some here and there some spikes to come. Even my uh, Sturbeck puts out another spike. It already had five, maybe six. Not completely sure, but it also has a new growth, luckily. But uh, yeah, a lot of spikes. And yeah, my Nelly Eilers. One is now going over. That one's in spike, and I have one on the floor. It's also in spike because of this spike. This is fairly long. It was touching the roof ceiling so uh, I thought I'm going to put it on uh, on the ground but uh, and some uh, as you can see some uh, dead flowers I need to uh, get them I try to collect them every other day something like that but uh, yeah at this moment this is is what uh, this is it what I have in bloom so I have quite some and I have really uh, quite something uh, to look forward to I uh, luckily see quite a, quite a few spikes coming so uh, that's nice for uh, for fall for coming fall but um, yeah, so this is it for now. I was looking around, but I don't think I did forget any uh, plan so far. So I hope you really enjoyed these uh, videos. I personally, I really like them. I like the blooming updates for, uh, and I refer to other growers when they do upload these uh, videos. But um, yeah, so if you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comment section below. And for now, I just want to say thank you for watching. And if you didn't already have, probably you want to subscribe to my channel. I would really, really appreciate it. And um, yes, just thank you for watching and I hope to see you at one of my next videos. Bye-bye.